On flight day 23 of NASA's Artemis 1 mission, the Orion spacecraft continues making the return trip to Earth, capturing photos and video along the way. At present, we are on track to have a fully successful mission with some bonus objectives that we've achieved along the way," said Mike Serafin, Artemis 1 mission manager. On entry day, we will realize our priority one objective, which is to demonstrate the vehicle at lunar re-entry conditions, as well as our priority three objective, which is to retrieve the spacecraft. The mission management team met with the entry flight director and NASA recovery director as the planned splashdown of Orion Sunday, December 11, is now about 72 hours away. They evaluated the weather and decided on a landing site in the Pacific Ocean near Guadalupe Island, south of the primary landing area. Later tonight, flight controllers will conduct a final survey of Orion's crew module and service module using cameras on each of the spacecraft's four solar arrays. During the crew module inspection, flight controllers will be looking at the back shell made up of 1,300 thermal protection system tiles and will protect the spacecraft from the cold of space and the extreme heat of re-entry. Just before re-entry, the crew module and service module will separate and only the crew module will return to Earth while the service module burns up in Earth's atmosphere upon re-entry over the Pacific Ocean. The Artemis 1 trajectory is designed to ensure any remaining parts do not pose a hazard to land, people, or shipping lanes. After separating from the service module, the crew module will prepare to perform a skip entry technique that enables the spacecraft to accurately and consistently splash down at the selected landing site. Orion will dip into the upper part of Earth's atmosphere and use that atmosphere, along with the lift of the capsule, to skip back out of the atmosphere, then re-enter for final descent under parachutes and splash down. This technique will allow a safe re-entry for future Artemis missions regardless of when and where they return from the Moon. Earth's atmosphere initially will slow the spacecraft to 325 miles per hour, then the parachutes will slow Orion to a splashdown speed in about 10 minutes as it descends through Earth's atmosphere. Parachute deployment begins at an altitude of about 5 miles with three small parachutes pulling the forward bay covers away. Once the forward bay cover separates, two drogue parachutes will slow and stabilize the crew module for main parachute deployment. At an altitude of 9,500 feet and a spacecraft speed of 130 miles per hour, three pilot parachutes will lift and deploy the main parachutes. Those 116-foot diameter parachutes of nylon broadcloth, or silk, will slow the Orion crew module to a splashdown speed of 20 miles per hour or less. The parachute system includes 11 parachutes made of 36,000 square feet of canopy material. The canopy is attached to the top of the spacecraft with more than 13 miles of Kebler lines that are deployed in series using cannon-like mortars and pyrotechnic thrusters and bolt cutters.